My name is Anand Tarvamudan. I am an engineer by training. Uh, after about 14 years into the corporate world, I wanted, I desperately wanted to get into social entrepreneurship. So I uh, actually worked for a social enterprise called Selco, which is into renewable energy for rural areas uh, for about six years. Um, and that really reinforced my passion and reinforced my belief that social entrepreneurship is the only way to solve some of the big problems of society. Um, so I really wanted to continue on that path and uh, I wanted to increase the scale of my impact and that's when I came across Will Grow uh, and I got this opportunity to be a mentor in Will Grow and I think it's really helping me to further my goals uh, of you know spreading the message of social entrepreneurship and increasing the impact of what social entrepreneurs can do. First and foremost I have to say that I was very skeptical about being a mentor because I've always been a hands-on person I've always been in executive operational roles where I'm actually doing things right so I was very hesitant to get into a role where I'm just advising somebody and then expecting them to take that advice and do something. But when I came to Will Grow and I spoke to a few people like Guns and Ashwin and so on, I realized that, um, well, the program here in Will Grow is a little different. It's uh, much more high touch, okay, where the mentor is actually closely involved with the organization. It's actually actively a part of the strategy. It's not just a nice to have thing, but a must have, very important part of the whole strategy. So that's when I said, okay, I, I would really like to give this a shot and, you know, uh, work with a few young upcoming social entrepreneurs. What I really like here is the fact that, you know, I can take a little bit of an outside view of things. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, as opposed to what I was doing earlier where I was deeply enmeshed within the organization. I can kind of see it from an, uh, an external point of view and then dive deep inside and help the entrepreneur to kind of improve what they're doing. Again, my primary uh, uh, expertise is in the field of technology, so I provide mostly techno commercial advice or mentoring to the uh, entrepreneurs, uh, people who are trying to scale up their product, people who are trying to improve their technology, cut down the cost of their technology, uh, people who are trying to better fit what they have uh, to the market needs and so on. And my past experience, I think, helps me to provide that. Um, I really enjoy, you know, the kind of um, energy level, the kind of passion which uh, is there in the entrepreneurs and, you know, hopefully I'm able to kind of tap into that and just provide a little bit of direction, a little bit of guidance and, you know, make it go in the, you know, in the right way so that, you know, scale can happen, so that the desired impact can happen. I think um, uh, one very important thing is mentorship is a commitment, okay, it's not something you can do on the side. I've heard a lot of my friends say, you know, I have two hours to spare every week and, you know, I have a Saturday off, maybe I can help someone. I don't think mentorship really works that way. I think it has to be a commitment. You have to keep aside certain number of days or at least hours a week and that's like, uh, you know, sacrosanct. You cannot, uh, you know, uh, you cannot uh, violate that, right? And uh, once that commitment is made on both sides, it's also it's on the side of the mentor and also on the side of the mentee or the entrepreneur, um, you know, it becomes very serious. It has to be structured, um, it has to be kind of calendarized and, and it has to be high touch in my opinion. You cannot just give advice and go away, okay. Uh, just to give an example, you know, yesterday I was with my, uh, one of my uh, incubators. I was in that stall uh, at the farmer's mela, Krishi mela, trying to sell the product, okay. It's only then that you get an idea of what are the difficulties they face in the field when they go and try to sell the product right uh, and I think now my advice will take a very different direction because I got a feel because I became a salesman for that company and so I realize uh, you know what are the actual difficulties they face you know and I feel mentorship has to be at that level uh, at, to that depth Other, and, and anyone who can't make that commitment I would say you know stay away um, you need to be able to really you know seriously commit your time